Hello, everybody. Andrea here. So I have been in the dental profession since 2005, and I'm also a teacher for teeth whitening technicians. So I train you on how to become a teeth whitening technician. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about three tips on how to really grow your teeth whitening business. So whether you're just getting started or you've been doing this for a little while, but you just feel like you aren't getting the amount of clients that you want to be getting to really have a successful business. So the first tip is going to be always you have to talk about what you you do. Okay. Any chance you can, you guys talk about it. And what I mean by this is to really market your business, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you prefer. We have no problem posting what we had for lunch. We have no problem taking photos of, again, what we had for lunch. We have no problem taking photos. We have no problem taking selfies, you know, family photos, this day and age, we love to take photos and we love to post about it. So why not take photos about your teeth whitening business? Why not post about it? When you get your certificate, take a photo, take a video holding your certificate and being like, yay, I am now a graduated teeth whitening technician who wants to book their appointment. So talk about it. When somebody asks you, what do you do for a living? If you meet somebody new, you should say, I'm a teeth whitening technician. I go to your home to whiten teeth if you go mobile. I suggest changing your email. So this is a huge one, actually. Change your email so maybe people ask you about it. What do I mean by this? So when you go to the store, you know how certain stores ask for your email because they like to send you coupons. Well, what if your email was teeth whitening by Andrea or whatever? That's a very easy email to remember. They know how to spell that, but then they might go, oh, Teeth whitening by Andrea. Do you whiten teeth? Yes, I do. Here's my card. Mention that you saw me and you can get a coupon or sort of however you want to do it if you want to offer a sale to that person. But you have to be talking about it. Be proud of it. Mention to everybody you are now in the business to whiten teeth. Okay, I cannot say this enough. If you're not talking about it, how are people supposed to know, right? Number two is you need to be consistent on social media. You need to market. This day and age, if you're not marketing, advertising, talking about it on social media, well, how do you expect to get clients? And don't expect to get clients the next day. You know, when you first do one post, don't expect to have clients knocking down your door or calling you the next day. It's going to take some time. You have to be patient. But the key is to be consistent on social media. I don't mean by posting one post a month about your new teeth whitening business. Um, you need to be doing it weekly, several times a week. Post videos, post photos, do a little tray setup of your teeth whitening supplies. When you get some new supplies in, take a video, take a photo. Think of yourself as the customer. What do you get excited about when you see products? What made you buy that new computer? Was it because you saw an unboxing video of this new computer? You were in the market for one, but that one you just had to have because they did such a good job. Think of yourself as the customer. What do your clients want to see from you? It's probably going to be before and after photos. Post some really good before and after photos. Let's say you, you haven't had any clients yet. I want you to be seeing every friend you have, every family member to whiten their teeth. And that brings me to the third tip. You need clients. So without paying clients per se, like, you know, the ones that you don't know, reach out to your friends and family, even offer them a discount. Say you're on the lookout for teeth whitening models. As soon as people hear that, they go, oh, teeth whitening model. This sounds cool. I know people do this all the time for hair, for lashes, for nails. They've graduated. They need people to practice on. So they're looking for models. You're no different. You should say you're on the lookout for teeth whitening models. Maybe only charge them $50. This is up to you. What Whatever you're more comfortable with with the price point but give them a discount and say you need models for social media you want to use their picture to advertise who's interested in teeth whitening for $50. People are going to be so excited to be your client. Reach out to friends and family. Say I need help. 
I need marketing resources. I want to whiten your teeth. That's what friends and family are for. They're supposed to be your guinea pigs, right? The more photos you have, the more people you see, hand out business cards. They will give it to who they know, their neighbors, their friends, their coworkers. Those are the three things to really help to kickstart your teeth whitening business. Whether you're new or if you've been doing it for a while, try to get out of your comfort zone a little bit and do those three things. And I can almost guarantee you, you will be getting clients right away. These are the methods that I teach my students students inside the Whitening Pro Academy Teeth Whitening Technician course. The link is down below. If you guys want to check it out, training is all online. For teeth whitening technicians, you get a certificate of completion. Everything is done online. I'm a dental professional. I'm the one to teach you guys how to whiten teeth, not only from the theory infection control standpoint, but also the business side. You want a successful teeth whitening business and I can help you guys with that. Let me know if any questions, comment below and thank you guys so much for watching.